What started as a dry day across the Commonwealth has turned into a soggy night. Welcome to the Bluegrass Weather Report for Friday, April 28th, 2023. I'm meteorologist Shane Smith. I'm glad you can join us as we take a look at a soggy system which is currently working its way across the bluegrass as we record this on late Thursday night. You can see showers and a few thunderstorms rolling through the Commonwealth as a warm front is lifting to our north. We have low pressure back towards Little Rock, Arkansas on the tail end of this front uh, that is going to continue to lift to the east and northeast. And as that low moves our way, we're going to keep the shower chances around tomorrow, at least for the first half of the day. I think as we go into the second half of your Friday, things begin to dry out a bit. But the weather pattern remains unsettled through the weekend. Let's take a look at it as we go to the HRRR model and take a look at its radar, uh, future radar feature. So we go into early Friday morning, about 6 o'clock East Coast time. You can see some showers and storms down in South Central Kentucky between Somerset and Bowling Green. Places like uh, Columbia, Russell Springs, Jamestown, Glasgow, likely picking up on some showers for the morning commute. That'll work into Central and Eastern Kentucky late morning and early afternoon. And a few pop-up thunderstorms tomorrow east of I-75. Some of those may produce some small hail as we will have a little cold pocket of air overhead uh, that could be easy to pull down. And then as we go into Saturday, another chance of scattered showers, especially in Western Kentucky, uh, earlier in the day, moving into central Kentucky by the afternoon and evening on Saturday as our next frontal system rolls in according to the HRRR model. Now we wake up Friday into the 50s. Highs should go upper 60s, although if we can get those storms out of here quick enough, wouldn't surprise me if a spot or two in southern Kentucky made a run at the 70s. We'll likely wake up on Saturday in the mid to upper 40s in central Kentucky, Low 50s in eastern and western Kentucky with highs, once again, mid-60s until that rain rolls in. And that will quickly knock those temperatures uh, back down. Let's take a look at the long-range pattern. Uh, the GFS model not really picking up on that Saturday rain chance. But I think seeing that front, seeing how those showers are dissipating, I think it's just losing it a bit. Uh, I'm more willing to in go with the HRRR at that range than the GFS, but it is showing like an area of low pressure coming up out of the deep south with a deep trough pulling in behind it. That could theoretically lead to some snow off to our north. Doubt we'll get cold enough here for that, uh, but just that's gonna make for a cold Monday and Tuesday as that upper level low cuts off and spins off to our north and the GFS keeping it there most of the week, keeping our temperatures cool especially uh, on Oaks Day. Uh, things looking a little bit nasty and then warming up as we head into Kentucky Derby uh, Saturday. Let's see how things play out on the European model. It shows the showers and storms exiting overnight as we go into Friday. Few storms in eastern Kentucky during the afternoon. Dry for most of Saturday, but then those showers and storms develop. And it's also going with that more southern branch of the low pressure so that would mean a better shower chance on Sunday than Saturday. I think that's a, a safe bet at this point um, as far as widespread rain. Better chances Sunday, but it's all just going to depend on how it plays out with that upper low to our north. And we'll see which set of models works out, either the Euro and the GFS or the HRRR. And then as we go into uh, the Kentucky Derby uh, on next weekend, we're going to go ahead and look at the extended range. Uh, European model. I had the more short range version pulled up. It's showing that trough hanging tough uh, next week into Kentucky. So staying below average temperature wise for most of next week and then finally warming up a little bit uh, on Thursday. Oaks Friday may have some thunderstorms uh, according to uh, this European model and then Derby Saturday low pressure off to the south that's not something we want to see we want nice high pressure there uh, so we'll have to wait and see how that plays out so uh, for our fans of the derby you want to root for the gfs model that's the horse you want to back uh, as we go uh, through next week we'll have to wait and see how it all plays out 
Now, as far as temperatures as we go throughout the next several days, staying below average, just notice we are going to be in a deep trough in the eastern half of the U.S. That's going to keep things colder than normal for most of next week. You know, we should be into the 70s this time of year. We're getting ready to go into May. It's going to be May. Well, soon, but it's not going to feel like it. And it's going to stay on the chilly side through at least next weekend before it looks like that trough may finally start to break down. Uh, but it's the cold air is hanging tough. Uh, we are definitely in a cooler than average pattern. In fact, it's not until the middle of the week after the derby uh, that we really start to see temperatures go above average um, in the long range forecast models. And we'll have to we'll just wait and see how that plays out. But overall, the forecast looking chilly and cool. So to recap, rain chances today on Friday, mainly in the afternoon, Eastern Kentucky. We should get those showers out of here uh, for most of us during the morning. So I'm not a washout of a day. Saturday, got to watch Western Kentucky to see if that front materializes. If it does, showers and thunderstorms possible. If not, we'll hold most of that action off to Sunday. Sunday, hit or miss storms off and on all day. Maybe a lingering shower or two Monday, and then we are just cold next week so that is a look at the forecast want to give another big shout out uh, to my friends over at the kentucky subreddit thank you for watching uh, thank you for subscribing we had a huge surge in subscribers the last couple of days thanks to you folks so uh, thanks for stopping by and hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and you are into kentucky weather uh, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button it really helps us out and uh, i've been trying to answer questions over there on the uh, kentucky subreddit um, so just be sure to uh, pop over there. And uh, if you got any questions about the weather, there's a little thread with my picture on it. Click on it, type your question, and I'll try to get to it uh, as soon as I can. Or if you want to drop them here in the comments below, I'll be happy to answer those. So until next time, friends, take care and stay weather aware.